Hi guys, so this is just going to be a video of my Chinchilla Emergency Medical Supply Kit. I think it cost me about £40 to put this together, including including the box and everything. So I know that seems like a big expense, but it's really good just for peace of mind and just in case there ever is an emergency. I'm sorry about the background noise, but Remy is currently scrabbling away back there. So I don't really know what she's up to, but she seems to be having a good time. <laughs> Alright, so firstly, this is something I really recommend. I got this from eBay, but you can get it from the site directly, which I will link below as an ebook or as a physical booklet. It is Home Remedies and Safe Medications for Chinchillas by Morella Poli. It's a really good book. It just sort of tells you all the things that you can use and how to give them and what to give them for. I'd really recommend it. It's a brilliant little book. So a couple of these things you'll have seen on my collective haul video. I got some sterilised pipettes. There's ten of them in there. And here's also some Wilco Baby Buds. A whole bunch of different size syringes. I've got two 10 millilitres, two 1 millilitres, and there's a 5 millilitre here as well. And these are from Viavet. To go with that, I have got the Supreme Science Recovery. It comes in sachet form. This is for if your chinchilla's not eating or can't eat, and it helps them to kind of maintain and gain weight. And it's supposed to be really good. I'm sorry, I'm wearing my pyjamas. <laughs> but it's supposed to be really good for them. I chose this one over Oxbow, and I'll, I explained why I did that in my collective haul video. This was from Viavet as well, and that was 16 16 so that's the most expensive thing that is actually in my kit. I've got this first aid kit, and that also bumps it up. This is mostly for the dogs, but I keep it in here, just so that I know where it is, so it's easy to get to. And hi, George. Hi. <laughs> That was £10 from Amazon. Again, sorry that you can see the chinchilla poops in the back. I It's clean day. <laughs> it's clean out day tomorrow. So that is why it's so messy. <laughs> Next, I've got this Diorolite black currant. Apparently, chinchillas tend to prefer the black currant flavour. This is essentially for diarrhoea. It helps to replace lost water and body salts. And it comes in this sachet of powder. And you just mix it in with their food. And I tried it one time when I wasn't very, feeling very well, I was just very sick, and it tastes like soap, so that's fun. Next thing I've got is Infocol. This is something that you really need to talk to your vet about, because this is for bloat, and if your chinchilla has bloat, or you think it has bloat, then you really need to take it to the vet. So this is something I wouldn't use unless it was an absolute emergency situation, for example, if I couldn't get through to any vets or anything, but otherwise definitely only use with your vet's recommendation and your vet's go ahead. I've also got, this is actually the wrong kind, I got the wrong kind, but I'm just going to show you this for reference. This is the two plus months cowpole sugar-free infant suspension. You're supposed to have one that apparently has 50 milligrams of paracetamol per milliliter. This works out. This is 120 milligrams of paracetamol per five milliliters, which works out at about 24 millili milligrams of paracetamol per milliliter, sorry, that's really quite difficult to say. So I need to get another one of these, I think it's the one to two years one I need, or the two years plus one, I need to double check that. But there you go. So I next have a small tube of Neutrogena Concentrated Hand Cream, it is unscented, and this is for dry, flaky skin, and you can also use it for cracked pores, you just need to put a tiny amount on the affected area. I have a bottle of TCP, which is liquid antiseptic. I couldn't find the child's version, so this will just need to be diluted down for for scrapes and cuts and things. So yeah, that is that one. I have a little thing of Olbus oil, which is inhalant decongestant. This is good for if your animal has a cold or any other sort of lung or respiratory related illness you just put a couple of drops on a flannel and put it near their cage not in their cage but near it where they can't reach it and it's supposed to help clear that up so the last thing i have in here are two little pouches of ella's kitchen organic baby puree so the first one is sweet potato and the second is pear flavored this is only to be used if your chinchilla really needs to be enticed to eat but not doesn't necessarily have any eating problems. It's sort of a bridge gap between having to hand feed and just them eating their normal pellets as normal. 
So I picked up sweet potato and pear, as I said, and these are good because they've got nothing in them except <laughs> the fruit or vegetable and possibly water. All right, guys, so that is everything that is in my chinchilla medical supply kit. Sorry, George is kind of right in the middle of the shot, but there you go. As I said, about £40, really recommend that you get them. You put together your own kit. And I forgot to mention this at the beginning of the video, but please do not take any of the information in my video as a sort of medical advice. I'm not medically trained for animals in any way. And really, if you if you have a problem with your chinchilla, if you think your chinchilla is ill or injured, then please speak to a vet and don't take my word for it because what I say is not necessarily right. I've done quite a lot of research and I've looked at lots of different websites and help sites to put together my emergency kit, but it might not necessarily be the right thing for your chinchilla. Okay guys, so that is everything. Thank you so much for watching my video. I will be back soon with a video all about George, I think, or a video introducing Remy, which I still have yet to film and everything. But yeah, so thank you very much for watching, guys. Bye-bye.